Hey guys and gals, sweet project cars here with cool trick and affordable ways for the do-it-yourselfer DIY and simple ways. Today we are here to show you how to refurb, refurbish your grill and make it bulletproof. Here's the key. Your grill takes one of the largest beatings due to the fact that it is in front of your vehicle and everything seems to hit it. Now this car is a 2015 and the problem is it already has some stone pits and stuff in the chrome plastic and uh, there's no way to really get that out unless you sand it down and do all that. So what we're going to do is protect it so it doesn't get damaged any further than it already is. So just follow along and I'll show you how to do this and you'll never have to worry about your grill. Again, it will be in beautiful shape and it'll look beautiful for a very, very long time. So let's get cracking, stacking, and racking. This is the cool part because you can do this on all the pieces of your grill. All the trim like this right here, all the plastic right here, which this is all dull and nasty. Uh, this area right here, very hard to clean the polish and or cleaner, white cleaners out of this because it's got like little tiny ribs in it. So I'll share with you how to clean that and protect it. So you don't have to worry about bugs getting embedded in there. First, what we're going to do is take our old 99 on this emblem, put it on our detail brush, and you just scrub it. Now on the red part, you can see right here, there's tiny little pits in it. And that is actually the color chipped out of it from sand and stone hitting it. And the only way you're going to fix that is to repaint it and or replace the emblem. Once that's done, you just wipe it off. And what we'll end up doing here on this is repainting this. We'll find the exact color and repaint this so it looks beautiful again. Now all this black plastic here, kind of a gray black, is uh, faded and nasty. So you know what you do there? We bring mama in and have her put a spanking on it. And you can do this all by hand. It'll take you a bit of time. Now I'm only going to do half the grill because it is very uh, time consuming. But you can see how dirty that is already. And it's already been washed. But that's how much oxidation is on that plastic. Now we'll do this up here. This will remove all the bugs. Mother's is a fantastic product when it comes to this. And I'll show you the difference after we're all done. But like I said, you want to stay out of this ribbed area with the mothers because once you get it in there, we've got another video on how to remove it. There's no sense filling it up with white cleaner. Great thing to do on a nice sunny day. The bugs will fall right off. Stones will not be able to chip it as badly. But you see how much I've already pulled off that? Quite a bit. And we'll just go right to there. And you don't have to worry about the painted surface because we use this on paint as well. A lot of elbow grease. You'll need about a two and a half gallon bucket of elbow grease to do this job. It would take you on an average grill about one hour to do the whole thing. Now every grill is different. Some of you have this style with this trim. Others have, you know, different vehicles have different trim on them, of course. But that's how bad that was. That's how much oxidation was on that. And this has been washed. All right, now we'll take our good microfiber and we'll go over that and you can already see a difference in the shine 
The more time you spend buffing on it, the better to look. Now we'll get up there and I should spend about another, I don't know, 10 minutes on these bars right here and up here. But for the video, in order to keep your attention, we're going to cut it a little bit short. But let me get up there and show you what it looks like now. Just the difference of that little bit of mothers on it. You see the shine? That little spot right there can come out with more buffing. But you go from that right there to that. Look how dull and nasty those are. And again, this car has been washed. Beautiful. And you can see the tiny little pits. The tiny little pits like these right here. These are from stones. But that's dull and nasty. Oxidized. Now we'll protect it. And I'll show you how we do that. Now because I don't want to get this product this next product we use on this area down here I'm going to put it on my hand perfectly safe and rub it in I'll wait five minutes and buff it off and I can do this as many times as I want to put more coats it's called stacking and all Julio tell everybody where all these awesome products are going to be thank you Julio Cesar Chavez Rodriguez all right, I'll spray this on my hand and I just rub it in. Do all the plastic. Now, if you have a small sponge, you can do it with a sponge as well. But normally I would just spray the whole grill if I had just used mothers on it, spray the whole grill let it set five minutes, buff it all off. Then I won't have to worry about stone chips and that kind of thing anymore. After 40 years in the detailing business of vehicles, we've learned all the tricks of the trade. And if you guys get a chance, go to the comment section and uh, share with us how you're doing. How's this home thing treating you? You know what I mean. Have you had enough? Are you fed up? Staying at home? All right, we'll let that set five minutes and we'll be right back. All right, it's been five minutes and we're back. And you can see up here, when I run my finger across it, it's kind of smeary. That's what you want. Not completely dry. If it does dry up on you and you get a phone call or something, you can come back and reapply it and it'll reactivate the product and you'll be able to take it off there. So now all we do is take our good microfiber and we just buff that. Now we just put a protective coating on that grill and we don't have to worry about any more stone chips or oxidization happening. And like I said, the longer you buff with the mothers, the better this process that I'm doing right here will work. And it'll keep this shine that I'm going to share with you here in a couple of seconds for a couple of two, three years or more, depending on how well you take care of your vehicle. Now this is a quick example of how to protect and refurbish your grill. And what you're doing, you're spending a couple hours to get your grill done. Like I said, you can do your, your headlights the same way. You can do pretty much everything. Your fog lights, the trim around everything, the same exact way. And the best part of it is that couple hours you spend will save you years of having to mess with this. People will think, wow, that car looks brand new. You know how when you see an old car going down the road, even if it's a Delta 88 or a 69 Camaro or whatever it may be, and it just looks beautiful, an old Mercury Cougar or something, even from the 80s, you can always tell somebody that's taking care of it because it looks brand new. Let's take a look. All right, here we are. Now look at this. 
Look at the shine. Look at the clouds up in the sky here. Look how beautiful that is, the shine. Look at the shine here on this edge. And then you get down here and it's all dull and nasty. This one actually has a little star in it from the shine. And that looks beautiful. This over here, not so beautiful. Pretty nasty looking. But these little stone pits here, if this car would have been done like this at the beginning of its life, none of that would be here. I wish we could get new cars to come in before that damage happens. But that shine, look at that. Then you go down here, horrible.